Hi, I'm Tanner with Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over a 26 foot Logan Coach stock combo. This is a 2022 model. Um, if you watched my video last week, we went over a four horse with a really cool double tack door option. This stock combo is going to have that same option. Like I said last week, this combo or this double door combo setup is getting really popular. We're doing it on a lot of trailers. We're having a lot of positive feedback on it. So I think it's really cool we have a couple trailers to show this option to you guys on. So we'll start right up here at the front. This is your one tack room side on your tail side. Um, we do have a brush tray right here on your door into the tack room, um, as well as your four tier blanket bars. I always talk about Logan's blanket bars. I think they're so simple that they're almost better than making them over complicated. The reason I like them so much is because you have that ability to swing them out like that. A lot of times if you're trying to put blankets on when they're up against the door, when they're stationary, like a lot of trailers are, you can get one or two sets on, then it starts putting some pressure on the door and you can't get blankets in over the top or underneath them. So by giving you guys the option to swing this out and be able to fully slide blankets on in whatever position you guys want, I think is really handy. And on top of that, being able to swivel it and put some pressure up against this door and lock it shut, it's gonna keep all those blankets pressed against that door, not moving around, not falling on you guys. Another reason I like having them on the door like that is because you can use this sliding type window right here and get some airflow. If you're traveling and you want to dry your blankets out, if you've had a long hot ride or something like that and you got some wet sweaty blankets, you can open that window and all that airflow is going right to your blankets that are pinned up there against that door, which I think is super handy. Then moving over here into your tack room area, we do have a four tier swing out saddle rack. It's going to mirror the other sides. You're going to get eight saddle racks with this trailer, which is really awesome, especially for a stock combo because you never really... Typically with a three or four horse, if you're in a slant, you have your three or four horses, you're taking every single rodeo, you know which saddles and tack you're using. A stock combo like this, it can switch up from day to day, so it's really awesome. You have a, that much options for carrying tack in this trailer. But each saddle rack in this trailer, you saw how easy that just went in. It's going to run off a little gas piston, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But you pretty much start pushing it in, it'll pull itself in, and you start pulling it out, and it kind of helps you pull it out. That way all your saddles are right here where you're going to be saddling. Your blankets are right here where you're going to be saddling. It makes it really easy and really effective for you guys to do so. Then coming up in the tack room, the reason I like this double tack setup is it gives you kind of a lot of room in here. You're going to have light switches on each side of the trailer as well as tack options on each side of the trailer. But you'll notice it is fully carpeted on your drop wall, your deck up there, the floor, and then behind me you'll see we carpeted some bridle hooks in here. But it is fully livable. The reason I like them is you got two big buck windows up front. You can open those up if you need to throw a mattress or a sleeping bag or a bed roll in here or something like that. You can sleep in this trailer and it'll stay pretty tempered for you guys if it's not super, super hot or super, super cold out. But behind me you'll see that swing out saddle rack is swung out, kind of like that one I just showed you. That little gas piston that runs them is right up here at the top. It's a super, super slick mechanism. It kind of self-lubricates itself. And, if you, and the more you use them, the freer they're going to get, and they're going to work a lot better for you guys. I mean, they work great now, but once you kind of break this trailer in and get it rolling, um, all these features on this trailer tend to shine. Um, right here on this back partition wall, we do have your bridle hooks, as well as it is fully carpeted behind there. The reason we do this carpet behind the bridle hooks is because a lot of times, your conchos and stuff that you're going to have hanging there, slickers, rain, stuff like that, and they're going to have a lot of metal pieces on them and stuff like that, and they have a tendency to move while you're traveling and scrape some stuff up. So we carpet behind there to where the majority of your metal is going to be. That way you're not scraping up the metal on this trailer. But if you have something that tends to hang a little low, you'll notice there is black all over this trailer, and pretty much anywhere you see that black, it's called vortex lining. What it is, it's a really hard, almost plastic, kind of like rhino lining that Logan uses. Pretty much any part of this trailer that can get scratched, dinged, hit, or anything like that is going to have that vortex lining, which is a super cool product. I'm really glad Logan uses. I'm going to swing this saddle rack in and jump out and show you guys the other side of this trailer. So again, you saw how easy it is to go from one side to the other side of this trailer, pull tack out, be able to saddle off both sides of this trailer. I really love this double door setup, whether it be on a stock combo like this or a slant like we did last week. Um, but again, it's going to mirror image that other side. You're going to have that really handy, handy four-tier blanket bar as well as the brush box, tray box, whatever you want to do right here. These are handy too as well because they will drain. They have kind of a marine grade carpet in the bottom of there. So if you get something that leaks, kind of is running in there, it will drain out the bottom. Then you can pull this out, throw it in the dryer, whatever you need to do to air dry this. And stick it right back in there really easy. It kind of keeps the trailer looking nice and clean for you guys. And again, same mechanism as the other side. I love it that you can, again, if you have some horses that kick, stuff like that, or you got two horses that get along, two horses that don't, you can saddle off either side of this trailer, 
I mean, your saddle rack both coming out on each side, which is super, super handy. Also, I think it would make the trailer look better in a little bit of ways. Sometimes I'll look at a trailer and it's got a tack room on one side and it's got a big offset wall on the other side and it kind of looks plain like there's nothing on that side of the trailer. So by doing a double tack door like this, it kind of gives each trailer side a little bit more flair and a little bit better looking. Cool thing I like about the stock combo model that Logan does is you'll notice how heavy duty these extrusions are. It's probably a little hard for you guys to notice from the videos, but these are really, really stout extrusions that Logan uses on their stock combos. And the reason they do that is because a lot of times on stock combos, you're not only hauling horses, but you're hauling cattle, steers, whatever it may be. They can kind of be rough on stuff, so they really beef up their exterior on these stock combos. Another thing I like about it, both this gate and your rear gate are going to run off these latches on the outside. So if you do have bulls or something like that loaded and you don't want to crawl inside to open up this middle divider gate, you can hit this latch right here and that gate's going to swing open for you guys. That way you're not in there with whatever animals you need to unload. It's just keeping you guys a little more safe. Another thing I like about the stock combos is you notice there's D-rings all the way down the side of this trailer. So you have plenty of tie-out points and options for this 26-foot combo. Um, but on top of that, you'll notice you got some uh, support bars, your uprights for the framing of this trailer are going to run the whole length as well. And you can tie out to any one of those supports perfectly fine. So you pretty much have endless tie out options and you'll notice again that black vortex bindings on all those supports which is really, really handy that Logan does it on this trailer. Down low we do have these really fancy uh, aluminum spoke wheels right here. They look really, really nice especially again with that polished extrusion or not polished extrusion. Um, and you'll also notice right here. They are green capped, which means this, these are nitrogen filled tires. Um, we do the nitrogen filled tires because a lot of times, especially here in Colorado, we get a lot of really cold mornings, warm afternoons, and the PSI and normal air tires tend to fluctuate quite a bit. But you do these nitrogen filled tires and it kind of helps balance that out. That way you guys aren't having to stop and re-air or deflate your tires all the time when you're traveling. And again, here's that latch. It's going to be the same simple mechanism for that back door. You'll undo one lever. It gives you the ability to make this back door a slam gate with this lever right here, which I think is super handy. Then today I kind of did something different. I didn't open up the full gate on the back side of this trailer so I can show you guys how Logan's sliders work. So this will be a full gate when you need it to, or it'll be a slider when you want it to, which I think is super handy. That way if you're only offloading, let's say, one bull or a couple cattle, you can just, just slide them out, offload them, slide it shut, and go about your day. You don't have to worry about a big gate catching wind or something like that. I'm going to jump up in here. Cool thing I like about it, we do these stock combos. We do Logan's uh, whiz proof with their polylast flooring. Um, the cool thing about this flooring is this is a self draining rubber, so it is porous. So, any urine, water, anything like that, it's going to go straight through this and run to the road. And underneath this rubber, it is again, it's going to be a vortex lined aluminum floor that has slats already cut in it, specifically designed to drain out of this trailer. So, it's going to keep this trailer smelling fresh for a long time, but also looking really, really fresh for you guys while you're traveling. I showed you guys that slam gate lever on the outside for your center gate. So this will have a center cut gate on about 10 foot. This is about 20 foot of stock area in here. It's a 26 foot combo with about a 6 foot front tack. You're going to have about 20 foot of stock area back here. So that concept's really cool on the outside. Um, pretty much when you're on the outside and you hit that, this thing's pretty much the weight of it. It's going to fling it open and then whatever you have loaded in here is going to be able to push it open and just offload without you being behind the gate in here with whatever animal. And then, of course, if you want to travel with this gate locked, it's as simple as just releasing that latch right there. Again, you'll notice as you pan around this trailer, there is that vortex lining all over. So, again, anything that's kicking, scratching, hooking horns on, you know, supports and stuff like that, it's going to keep this trailer looking really, really clean for a long time. On top of that, if it does end up going through that vortex and get into the frame, it's really, really easy to get that repaired. Grab a rattle can, a rhino line, fix it yourself, or bring it to one of our shops or Logan, and they can vortex line it again for you. So this trailer roof is bowed. Um, you'll notice it does have a slight bow to it. And again, for the same reason we kind of do the floor where it's draining is moisture is kind of always bad on metal. So we keep the floor draining and that roof a little bit bowed so it keeps all that moisture running off the roof or sitting up there, eating at that metal, eating away at your seals. Um, it just kind of help, again, add to the longevity of this trailer for you guys. We also do have two LED lights in this stock combo area, kind of one for each divider pin here. That way if you do need to check on whatever anim animals you're hauling, whether it be horses, sheep, cows, anything like that, you can always click that light on back there, um, light it up in here and be able to check on your animals, make sure they're doing okay while you're traveling down the road. A really, really cool thing I like about a stock combo is a lot of times you only see escape doors on slants. It's going to be in your first stall on that slant. Um, a lot of times you won't see them in stock combos, but I think it's really, really cool that we did do an escape door on the stock combo. I think it's even cooler that we did it on your passenger side over there. That way if you get in a bind while you're traveling, you can't get to your back door, and you do need to offload some animals on the highway or something like that, you're always doing it on that curb side, not right onto the highway, which is really cool about having this escape door on this passenger side.
And then again, it's kind of going to be a mirror image here on this passenger side as it was the other side. You're going to have all your D-ring. You're going to have a six inch LED awning light. I forgot to show you guys on the other side, but you'll have one on the other side too. Again, if you are saddling at the late nights, early mornings, you'll be able to light it up out here, light it up on the other side and be able to pull your saddles and saddle right here. You do have your tie outs right here as well as your supports, same as the other side and those same nice looking wheels that we've seen on the other side of this trailer. I'm going to sh shut this door so you guys can kind of see the color of this trailer a little better. It is a silver metallic on this trailer. Um, it's kind of hard to see with the doors open. I might shut one to show you guys before I finish the video, but it is a really cool silver metallic color on this trailer. And I really, really like it, especially with those heavy duty extrusions. It kind of makes the color on this trailer really pop, especially with those aluminum wheels. I think it's a really cool color, especially on a stock combo like this. Just a really cool trailer. Um, if you're interested in this trailer, or maybe wanting to do a double tack setup like this on another trailer, um, possibly custom ordering one, whether it be a slant, a bumper pull, anything like that. We can pretty much do whatever you guys want here at TransWest. But if you're interested in this trailer, the stock number is 5N210577. Again, it's a 26 foot 2022 Logan Coach stock combo. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe building your guys' own trailers, or you just want to talk more about tack setups and trailers like this one, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name is Tanner here at TransWest. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.